Welcome back to the second week of this teaching, this message, this sermon on the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We're diving right into Mark 16, verse 1. Get your Holy Bible out and follow along with me and grab your word and repeat with me. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. And I have what it says I have. Believe that. Let's roll. Turn your Bibles to Mark 16. Last week we read in Matthew, the last chapter, Matthew 28. We're dealing with the four Gospels in this four-week teaching on the resurrection of Jesus. After he died, he came back. He showed himself alive. Mark 16 These are men that walked with Jesus, walked with Jesus Christ himself. And when the Sabbath was past, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him, Jesus. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulcher, the grave. They came unto the sepulcher at the rising of the sun. Verse 3. And they said among themselves, who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulcher? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering into the sepulcher, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. Verse 6, and he said unto them, be not affrighted, ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen, he is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee. Verse 7 says, but go your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him as he said unto you. Verse 8, and they went out quickly and fled from the sepulcher, for they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. Verse 9, now when Jesus was risen, early the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, of whom he had cast out seven devils. Let's read that again. Verse, verse number Verse number nine, now when Jesus was risen early the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. Verse 10, and, he, and she went and told them that had been with him as they mourned and wept. Verse 11, and they, when they heard, verse 11, and they, when they had heard that he was alive and had been seen of her, believed not. Verse 12, after that, he appeared in another form unto two of them as they walked and went into the country and they went and told it unto the residue, neither believed they them. Verse 14, afterward, he appeared unto the 11 as they sat at meat and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. Verse 15, and he said unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Verse 16, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Verse 17, and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. <laughs> They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. That's what we can do in this generation, in this time when Corona try to run rapid. We can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. That's what the believers can do. Don't be afraid in this time with this coronavirus. In quarantine, dive into the word of God. Dive into some worship. Dive into some praise. Dive into this intimacy with Jesus Christ during this time of quarantine. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Verse 19. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. 
And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. It's your boy Tyrone Burton bringing this word of God to you this second Sunday. God bless you. Stay encouraged and walk with Jesus Christ like you never walked with him before. Obey him in every point and watch him bless us richly. Peace.